Hello, my name is Sarah and I work on Digital Archives for Backlog. In this video, I will give you an overview of Omeka. Uh, for an example, we're using the Walt Disney Hometown Museum Omeka. This is the front end or user interface, what the public sees, and we're going to log into the back end. You'll be given a URL to log into your back end. You'll put in your email and you'll be given a password. Here is the back end or staff interface. So um, this is what I'll give you a tour of, show you which of these you'll need to worry about, which links you'll need to click, and which you won't need to worry about. This is our admin dashboard. You'll see there's a new version of Omeka available. Don't be tempted to get the new version. That's not something you want. You'll want to keep the version that you have. Uh, over here on the left side navigation, uh, we will want to worry about sites, items, and item sets. However, sites has some links under it that are not visible yet, so I'll show you how to access those. Click on sites, click on the title, and then you can see that additional links have shown up down the left side navigation under sites. Of these, we only want to worry about pages and navigation. So let's look at pages. There's two web pages, welcome and about. If we wanted to create a new page, we could do that here under pages. And that's pages. Let's look at navigation. This would be if you wanted to change the order of how your content appears to users. Our navigation has browse, which has items in it. We'll get to items later. It has welcome, about, and another browse with items in it. So let's look at these on the front end. Here they are in just the same order, browse, welcome, about, and browse. Going back to the back end, if I wanted to change the order in which these appear, I would hover until I got the double-sided arrow, click, hold down, and drag until it moves to a different place, let go, and then you've rearranged your web pages. I don't actually want to do that now, so I'm going to put this back. I'm going to leave the sites area. Do I want to save changes? No. I didn't make any and I'd like to leave the page. So that's sites. Now we'll move on to items and item sets. Before you make a set of items, you'll need items. This is where you will put your uh, scanned documents or images, uh, anything that's going to live in your Omeka, your collections to be managed. You'll see here that once I clicked on sites, media showed up. So um, items is highlighted right now. Let's click on one of the items. I'm going to click on this Italian postcard item. Um, this is the item record. So these are all the metadata or pieces of description um, that relate to this, um, this item. And if I scroll down over here, I can see two pieces of media. Um, so for two pieces of media are attached to this item. It's a postcard, so it's got a front and a back. And images of both are attached to this item. I'm going to click on items again to get back to my list of items. These are my item records. I have 106 of them. If I want to click on media, can see that I have more media than I do items. Here again is an, uh, an example of how a piece of media could be a front and a back. This front and back might go to the same uh, item. And then let's look at item sets. I have one item set. I'm going to view the items in my item set. I've got two items, so I've got two yarn art pattern that live together in a set, which is like a folder. And 
that's item sets. So again, you click on sites to see pages and navigation. Other than that, you'll just need items, media, and item sets. And I'll go back to my admin dashboard by clicking here.